Treason, though, is the new series that has come out yeah. since uh, he can't be doing some MCU stuff for Netflix. He decided, let's do some other shows for Netflix. <laughs> it is a miniseries, if I'm not mistaken, that is following this guy who may or may not be uh, involved in some espionage and... Uh, Kind of by the numbers for me, uh, I was able to catch mm-hmm. the first two episodes of this. So this is my pilot review for it. Zach was able to catch one as well. I'm happy for him that he's able to expand out of it. But <laughs> at the recruit that we covered a couple weeks ago is still at the same level. While that one's a very unserious show and this one's the more uh, by the numbers still doesn't pass it up. To me, they're interchangeable. And that's not a good thing when your show can't beat the Noah Centineo one. But you caught one. I don't know if it intrigued you or if you just think that it's another. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like a pretty competent spy one. show, but it does it does the thing where it kind of launches you right into espionage happening. So I, I feel like it's one of those shows where at least at first it feels like you're playing a lot of catch up just to be like, all right, mm-hmm. so this character is meant to be the chief and that character reports to that one, but that one doesn't like them because they, and, and like, so it's still not at a point where I feel like I have a grasp on the show. And to some people, they love getting in the weeds, that kind of thing and feeling like they're falling into the web of conspiracy. Uh, but it's, it's one that I feel like is maybe, uh, didn't grab me as much as I would like to, to be like pulled into the whole mystery of it. Same. But if uh, anyone's finished treason, I believe all the episodes are out there in Netflix fashion. So let us know. We'll finish up the series.